it's Thursday and that means story time at Washington Carnegie Public Library. I'm going to read you a story and a poem today, but before we read, we're going to sing our story time song. Are you ready? Here we go. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story and you really want to show it, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, find a seat. If you're ready for a story, find a seat. If you're ready for a story and you really want to show it, if you're ready for a story, find a seat. Our poem today is by Shirley Hughes, and it's from one of her collections of poetry that we've read from before. It's called Out and About, a first book of poems. Shirley Hughes is also an illustrator, and she writes, she writes the poems, and then she draws all these wonderful pictures. So our poem today is called Fire. See the big bonfire? Fire is a dragon. Better beware. Dangerous and beautiful. Better take care. Puffing out smoke as soon as it's lit. Licking up leaves, crackle and spit. Sending up sparks into the sky that hover a moment and suddenly die. Fire is a dragon, alive in the night. Fiery dragon, glittering bright. Everyone who's watching the bonfire, see, they're watching the sparks and the flames. And see, he has a rake so that if anything falls out of the bonfire, he can rake it back in to keep it safe, to keep all the people safe. Oh, look, they've even got plates of snacks. Yum. Looks like fun. That's the end of Fire by Shirley Hughes. Our story today is called The Dandelion Seed, and this is by Joseph Anthony and illustrated by Chris Arbo. All of the pictures in this book are like paintings. They're really beautiful. Okay. It was autumn in the garden. All the flowers had died and dropped their seeds. Only one seed was left, a little dandelion seed who was afraid to let go. But the winter wind began to blow. The stronger the wind blew, the tighter the seed hung on until it felt the wind blowing right through it. the seed left the garden behind. It became part of the wind and was carried away. The world was bigger than the seed ever imagined. It was also more frightening, more lonely. The more the seed saw, the smaller it felt. It wondered where it belonged. The seed landed when snow began to fall. It listened in silence as peace covered it like a blanket. Where is it? It's buried under the snow. Finally, spring came. Sunshine warmed the air and the soil, and the little seed began to grow tiny leaves and roots. See it? Do you recognize the dandelion leaves? Its leaves spread wide to gather sunlight. Its roots reached 
deep to drink fresh rain. Soon the seed flowered into the bright, delicate dandelion it was meant to be. It shared its green leaves with deer and rabbits. It gave sweet nectar to bees and butterflies. Then almost overnight, the life that began as one little dandelion seed ripened into many. They each became part of the wind and they were carried away. See them go? There they go. There they go. All except one. Don't be afraid, whispered the dandelion. The wind and the sun and the rain will take care of you. Let go and you will see. You will see. See it go? There it goes. Such a beautiful book, such beautiful pictures. And that's the end of the dandelion seed. I hope you enjoyed our reading today. I really enjoy reading out loud to you, and I hope you can join us next week. Bye-bye.